Hey guys, thanks for uh, joining me for another One Take Wonder. Who knows what's gonna happen today. I was gonna crawl under my truck and uh, make it funny and kind of like crawl out from underneath the truck and stuff, but the pavement's hot. It's hot today, and I know my hot. Like, I'm talking like 70 degrees. I'm kidding, it got hotter today. Um, hey, armor, let's talk about it. Let's cover it really quickly. Um, and uh, it, this plays into a question I get a lot, which is like, how should I upgrade my, my rig? You can do whatever the heck you want in terms of upgrading. You wanna do your lights first, go ahead and do your lights before you do your tires. That's up to you. But I'm here giving a recommendation, so let me tell you my take on it if you're just getting started. We're gonna focus on armor. All right, let's go. <laughs> We're not going anywhere, I'm just gonna keep talking. All right, so, General rule of thumb, something to keep in mind, is build from the ground up. That's how you're going to build your vehicle. Now, let me give you an exception. Of course, there was a rule, now there's an exception. Tires. If you need lift in order to get the tire you want on your vehicle, then you need to do lift before tires. Otherwise, what I would say is start with your tire, then work your way up. Next thing you're going to get into is you're going to get into armor protection depending on the types of trail you're going on. Now, you're gonna see right away, you're gonna see these sliders. These sliders are armor. Let me tell you why you want sliders. Sliders before light bars, people. Um, because your rocker panel at the breakover angle is one of the first things that's gonna get damaged on the trail. But you wanna protect what's underneath first. So. You got your differentials, they're actually pretty darn durable, but you can break them. So a lot of folks will have armor on their differential, armor on the transmission components, armor on sensitive bits under the engine. Now my sliders happen to incorporate a catalytic converter armor plate. So when I got my sliders, I also added that armor that protects the catalytic converter. Now that's a Important consideration, you go under your own vehicle and see what hangs down low and see if there's an armor plate for it because those are the things that you're gonna wanna protect. The sensitive mechanical bits that are gonna mean breakdown if you smash it all up. Do those first in terms of armor, then work your way up. Next thing, slider, that's an expensive fix. And the reason, again, that we say slider before light bars is because that is the first thing you're gonna break. If you go on a technical trail at all, you slip one way to the left, one way to the right, it happens really quickly, you're smashing in your doors, you're smashing in your rocker panels. So go ahead and get your sliders. Not steps, people, there's a difference. Now, when I make a joke like that, when I say not steps, people, I, I'm just joking around, right? I, I want you guys to know the difference. I want you guys to, to understand that, you know, you, you do see those um, steps, the running boards along the side of vehicles. Those are not rock sliders. They are not meant to protect your vehicle. Literally, the reason these are called sliders is because you rest that bar on a rock and you can slide down that rock and it's not going to damage your vehicle. So they're very, very strong, all right? Now, let's continue going up. I've got a Hanna Quality rear bumper and I've got an ARB front bumper. The Hanna Quality rear bumper incorporates a skid plate uh, on the bottom side of it that really helps my, um, my uh, travel on the trails because my departure angle is not great on this vehicle. And that's the, that's the, the back, the back just hangs out. And so I do drag the back end off of rocks quite frequently and that armor plate on the Hanna Quality is really, really thick. So that helps me out. On the front, the RB is stout. I can rest it on a rock and I can, if my approach angle is, uh, hey airplane, what's going on? No, it's cool, we're just filming. That's all right, hold on. You guys hear the back up beep too. All right, so it's fairly stout. And if I need to drag a little bit to get over a, a, a rock, it's, it's good. It's going gonna, it's gonna, um, uh, to hold up. There are limits to that. 
So now everything from that level up, that is the skid plates on the back and the front and the rockers and the protective bits underneath, everything higher up, I'm gonna call a luxury. And the reason I'm gonna call it a luxury is because that's when you are impacting. That's when you get in a wreck. You shouldn't be, the other armor that I mentioned, you're gonna use just going down the trail. A really stout front bumper in terms of, of impact and rear bumper in terms of impact is because something very bad happened. And so I'm going to say that it's not as critical. Now, it's going to come as a bonus if you guys go out and get a, a winch for recovery. Those bumpers, most winch bumpers, have, uh, are fairly stout and they, they provide a certain amount of armor on the front end. Uh, certainly, I would advocate handling your armor after tires and lift and before you go with rack, you go with fuel mounts, you go with um, lights, light bars, scene lights, anything like that. That stuff can come after your armor protection because armor is going to prevent you from getting uh, a breakdown stuck on the trail and that's why you want to do that first. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful. Of course, boom, hit the subscribe, smash the bell, all that stuff. Um, and if you want to talk to me, if you want to give me some video, video ideas, go on over to, to overlandbound.com slash forums. I'm Michael. I would love to chat with you over there. And hey, we'll be getting out there on the trail soon enough. All right, you guys. Till next time. Be safe. <laughs>